Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be covering what would a no labels victory in the Electoral College really look like on the electoral map. So far their own polling only shows them at around like 22 or 20 percent nationwide. They said they could have a path to victory if they get to 37 percent in the popular vote, they said in an article. So I'm going to be showing how they could win, nor I don't really think they're going to win any states, but this is a hypothetical. What would their path look like to 270? So first things we're going to do is set up all the safe Republican states. So obviously these ones, the Dakotas for sure, are going to be pretty locked in. Nebraska's third and or at large district. I'll put Nebraska's at large. Well, actually, I'm not going to do likeliest for each party. Let's overcomplicate it. But Oklahoma, Arkansas, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Kentucky, West Virginia, Indiana. These states, I think, are for sure off the board here. So the safe Democratic ones, Hawaii, California, these ones. Uh, Illinois, for sure, just because of Chicago, honestly. New York City will definitely help New York be blue in this. Uh, a lot of New England, Maryland, Delaware is Biden's home state. He would totally get it against a no labels candidate even if they were successful dc okay that's all the safe republican and safe democratic states so let's go into where no labels could really win so first we're going to assume that they're going to get most of the swing voters they need to win in the swing states they even have a starting chance and we're just going to give it to them for now it's a hypothetical way they get to 270 so obviously arizona is probably one of the more moderate states out there i could also see let's go start in the uh southern states georgia north carolina virginia for sure they would need those southern states to even begin filling out this map for them iowa could definitely see that wisconsin michigan pennsylvania they would definitely need minnesota missouri ohio See, now the map's starting to fill in here, but again, this is a huge stretch to say they even win any states. Alaska, New Mexico, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Kansas, both of Nebraska's electoral votes they would need. They would also need New Jersey, which is a bit of a stretch, I would say, as well. New Hampshire, Maine, but I don't think they would get Maine's first. Let's see... Texas they would need, in Florida, South Carolina, and Montana. So this is what a victory for them would really look like here, but I'm going to go into the stretch states. I think it's a stretch they say they win in Ohio. I think that'll be pretty hard for them to do. Missouri, Kansas, Colorado, Utah, Florida. Um, New Jersey has a very high demo amount of Democrats in the state, according to party registration. South Carolina would be a bit of a stretch as well. Texas, actually, like third party candidates in the polls, they typically do decent in this state. So I don't think it's a bit of a stretch to say that hypothetically a no labels victory would be stretched to include Texas in that count. I wouldn't say that. But the rest of these states, yeah, I could see them going that way. If we could look at on the bottom pie here. So 102 electoral votes are stretches for the uh, third party no labels here these are all just stretch states so let's say that they just lose florida then it's just not even a path here it really shows that i don't really think they're viable even if they're up to like 30 points in the polls because i don't know what other states they could get illinois which i seen on one of their articles they said that's a possible win the substitute instead of florida but even then that's pretty tough they even think they could win in like oregon and washington which i really doubt maybe oregon because they did have a third party candidate that did well in the gubernatorial election in 2022 maybe oregon has that stretch but uh honestly i think the most likely path for them would probably not be illinois because of chicago but it would probably be florida as that last bit because there is still a lot of independence in the state it used to be a swing state, now it's just leaning towards Republicans. But, uh, yeah, I think this would be the uh, most likely path for no labels to take in the Electoral College. It's probably, like, one of their only real paths to victory here is just to do something like this on the map. So let me just fill in all these as solid again. Solid orange. So, yeah, it's a pretty weird-looking Electoral map, but, uh, 
This is what a no labels victory would look like in the Electoral College. Something like this, I would imagine. I'll see you guys in the next video.